Rookie running backs helped a lot of fantasy football players win their championships in 2020. And that's probably going to be the case here again in 2021. So let's get to know some of these incoming rookie rushers with Sports Illustrated's senior fantasy football analyst, Michael Fabiano. Fabs, you have your top 10 rookie rushers. That is all up on SI.com right now. But I want to jump ahead to number five here. Let's talk about Kenneth Gainwell. Yeah, Kenneth Gainwell out of Memphis. Uh, he opted out of last season due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, put up very good numbers in 2019. He's much like, remember, Tigers alum Antonio Gibson, who, oh, by the way, is one of my favorite young running backs in the National Football League. He's a guy who's going to be both featured as a running back and a receiver. He's a dynamic kind of playmaker. He's not as big as Gibson. I don't know that Gainwell will ultimately be a featured back in the National Football League, but certainly someone that will be picked in dynasty leagues without question uh, and certainly an asset in PPR leagues. Much like all of these players, Bill, destination means a lot from a fantasy perspective, but Gainwell can catch the ball out of the backfield, and that is a huge, huge characteristic for him in terms of his future value. You spoke with Gainwell. You also spoke with Jared Patterson, who is also in your top 10 on your Sirius XM show. I believe both of those clips, you can check them out on demand. Let's jump to the North Carolina Tar Heels backfield where Michael Carter and Javante Williams, they come in at number four, uh, four and three on your rankings. Uh, Carter uh, comes in at number four. Now, he's not the biggest back in the world. He's five foot eight, but he still put up very good numbers last season, uh, rushed for over 1,000 yards in consecutive seasons at North Carolina. In 2020, he averaged eight yards per carry. That's pretty good. He also ranked 15th among running backs in yards after contact. He was 13th in yards per game. Very versatile player. Again, not maybe someone who will be a featured back at the next level, but certainly uh, a pass-catching option in a potential committee at the next level. And then Javante Williams is one of my favorite players from a fantasy perspective coming out of college. A lot of people have compared him to Nick Chubb. He is a strong back, a physical back, produced over 1,100 yards and 19 touchdowns on the ground, uh, averaging more than seven yards per carry last season. I would really love to see him go to a team that could use that featured back. There's not a lot of teams in the National Football League looking for a featured back or in need of a featured back, but a team like the Jets or the Pittsburgh Steelers, for example, maybe the Miami Dolphins or the Atlanta Falcons, Williams could end up being a fantasy superstar with one of those rosters. This is a guy to watch out for, Bill. The next prospect is from Alabama. And like all the other Alabama running backs in the NFL, they tend to do very well in terms of fantasy football. Let's talk about Najee Harris. Yeah, he's a potential star, a three-down back at the next level, averaging only six yards per carry uh, last season, had 26 rushing touchdowns. That led the entire nation. Uh, again, he is a player that can play in all three phases, right? Running with the football, catching the football, and pass protection, and that's big. He could ultimately end up being the first running back selected, whether or not it's the first or second round, time will tell. But Harris, once again, like you said, another in a long line of Alabama running backs who – will come into the National Football League with very high expectations. Now, when we went over quarterbacks, you had Clemson's quarterback Trevor Lawrence at number one. Here we are talking about another Clemson prospect as your number one player at this position. That's Travis Etienne, the running back for the Clemson Tigers. He reminds me so much of Jamal Charles. He's just so explosive. Two seasons at Clemson uh, where he put up over 1,600 rushing yards, rushed for 19 or more touchdowns twice, including 2018 when he had 24 touchdowns. Uh, a, another player who can catch the ball out of the backfield as well. Maybe he needs to work on the pass protection a little bit. I think ultimately he'll be fine in that department. But really, between Harris and Etienne, it's a coin toss, and it's going to depend on who lands in the better fantasy situation once all is said and done with the NFL draft. But Etienne is number one, and then Harris is probably uh, not two, but a 1A, both very talented backs, and backs that are going to be highly thought of in fantasy football redrafts. So those were your top five running backs in this year's class. You also uh, went all the way six through 10, which you can check out on Sports Illustrated. You go to si.com slash fantasy. You got Trey Sermon out of Ohio State. Think of the running backs that have come out of there lately with Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins, Chubba Hubbard from Oklahoma State. And I mentioned Jared Patterson, who you spoke with on your Sirius XM show. Great stuff as always. Steps. I'm looking forward to see where these guys end up, which teams they end up getting drafted by. That's really going to help shape where they're going to go in fantasy drafts as well. It never ends here at Sports Illustrated. More fantasy advice 
Go to SI.com slash fantasy.